years to the day after ISIS declared a Muslim caliphate in the Iraqi city of Mosul, U.S.-backed forces retook that city's famous mosque. ISIS has also been surrounded in Raqqa, the Syrian city it considers its capital. As ISIS loses ground, it's also losing fighters. Holly Williams has more on that from inside Syria. 81 men and boys, all accused of fighting for ISIS in Syria, now reformed after serving time in prison, according to America's Syrian allies, and reunited with their families. <laughs> Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi and his army of terrorists enforced a version of Islam unrecognizable to most Muslims, marked by vicious acts of violence. But Ezzedine Halaf, a former shepherd, told us he joined ISIS not because he wanted to kill in the name of his religion, but out of desperation. Why did you join them? We were poor and hungry, he said. Either you join ISIS and earn a salary, or you have nothing. He and most of the others have now signed up to fight against ISIS. Thousands of other young Muslims joined ISIS for more complicated reasons. They came from Europe, rejecting the West and its values for extremism. Some apparently so alienated from their own communities that they went home to carry out terror attacks. And in a refugee camp in northern Syria, these Indonesian women told us they were simply gullible traveling 5,000 miles to the so-called Islamic State in 2015 because they believed ISIS propaganda. Best place in the world and the people in there are very happy. Uh, no poor, no sad. In reality, they told us they were abused and their menfolk imprisoned by the extremists because they refused to fight. They ran away two weeks ago, they said, and are too frightened of retribution from ISIS to show their faces. Not just knife, we are stupid. Yeah, we, 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 we deceive very easily. ISIS tried to ignite a war between Islam and the West, and to do so, it preyed on anger, poverty and ignorance. Holly Williams, CBS News, Ayn Issa in northern Syria.